Hi, Warrior Friends, Mrs. Armstrong here, and today I want to talk about shopping for your library books and using a library stick to do the job. Um, one of my main goals here in the library is always to keep our library looking nice and neat so that when you come in and you have a specific request, we know exactly where the book is at because it's always in the same place. And to help us make sure that the books always stay in the same place, we use a tool called our library stick. And this year in the library, we have two different kinds of sticks. One is a little bit thicker plastic and the other one is a little bit more flimsy. This one takes a little bit more skill to use. So this is the one I'm gonna use in the video just so that I can show you that it can be done. Um, the purpose of the stick is to mark our spot on the shelf where the book is at that we wanna look at. Now, let's say that I wanna look at this green book. Before I pull it off the shelf, I'm gonna put my stick right next to it. Now with the flimsier stick, the best thing to do is to hold your hand towards one end and help shove it in next to the book that you want to get. Once your stick is all the way on the shelf, you can use one hand to hold onto the stick and then use your other hand to pull the book out. Once you have your book out, you might want to look at a few pages and see if it's too easy, too hard, or just right for you. If you decide, no, this isn't the book that I'm interested in, you know exactly where to put it at. We're not gonna put it up on top like that. We're not going to put it in here like that. And we're not gonna lay it on the floor where somebody could step on it. No, instead, we are gonna hold on to the spine of the book with one hand. And with our other hand, we're gonna move the books over and make room for this. And we're gonna put it back on the shelf right next to the stick that we left there. Once the book is back on the shelf, you can remove your library stick and go look for a new book. Let's practice using our stick again. I've moved over to the nonfiction area of our library and I'm on a shelf that's really, really popular. This is the shelf that has shark books on it. How do I know there's shark books on this shelf? Well, because there is a white uh, box right here that has pictures of sharks on it. So that lets, lets me know right away, hey, this is the shark section. Now, if I wanna check out a shark book, I'm gonna use my stick again and put it right next to the book that I want. I want this purple book. So I'm gonna hold on to my stick. I'm gonna slide it all the way in as far as it'll go. With one hand, I'm gonna hold on to the stick so it doesn't fall on the floor. And with my other hand, I'm gonna pull out just the purple book that I was interested in. If this is the book that I wanna take home with me today, I'm gonna to take my book and my stick and I'm gonna take the books over to the checkout counter to check them out. But you know, one problem I often see in the library is I'll see kids that are interested in shark books and they'll take out three or four shark books all at once and they'll have them laying all over the floor trying to decide which one they wanna take home with them. Please, please, please take out just one book at a time. I should never walk by and see four or five books spread out on the ground because you're trying to decide which one you want. Look at one book. If you don't like it, put it back. Then you can move your stick over and pull out a new book until you find the book that's just right for you. But please look at only one book at a time. Okay, I've moved over to another shelf um, to demonstrate another problem I often see in the library that I hope you guys can help me with. I'm over at the O shelf and I'm gonna look for one of my favorite books. It's called Once Upon a Cool Motorcycle Dude. It's this black book right here. Now, of course, before I pull it out, I'm gonna use my library stick to mark my spot. Once my stick is all the way in, I can use my stick, hold on to one, use one hand to hold on to the stick, use my other hand to pull the book out. One of my all time favorites. But here's the problem I sometimes see happening on our shelves. Once a kid pulls out a book and they decide, oh, I've read this book so many times, I think I want something different. And they go to put it back right next to their, their stick with their hand on the spine. They're putting their book away. And this happens. The books all slide over. They're starting to fall. And you think, oh, yikes, Mrs. Armstrong's not going to be happy if she sees the books falling over like this. 
but how do I fix it? Well, it's really pretty easy. Put your hand against the last book and use your muscles to push them all the way back over until they're standing up straight, just like this. Simple and easy. You can straighten up the books on the shelf all by yourself if you see them falling over. Okay, Wilson friends, can you see the problem on this shelf? I'm in the easy fiction section, as you can see by the white sign at the top of the screen. And I can see book titles. There's a white spine that says we're going on a bear hunt. There's a black spine that says my friend rabbit. There's a yellow, green, and red spine that says Tony Baloney. And then there's a book at the end that says Labrador Retrievers. And it has a picture that looks like a camera. It was taken by a camera, not drawn by an artist. I don't think this Labrador Retriever book is fiction. I don't think it's in the right place. This looks like somebody pulled a book out of the nonfiction section and then decided, oh, I don't want this book, so I'm just going to stick it right here. Now, when somebody goes over to the dog shelf and is trying to find the Labrador Retriever book, it's not going to be with all the other dog books. It's in the wrong spot. Please use your library stick to make sure you put a book back in the right place. If you've already taken your stick out and now you can't remember where to put it, come find Mrs. Armstrong or Mrs. Lormeyer and we'll help you find the right place to put the book. Okay, I've got the Labrador Retriever book back on the dog section of the library. You can see my sign that says dogs. But now there's another book on this shelf that's causing me concern. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a book that doesn't have the spine showing. Somebody put it on the shelf facing the wrong direction. Right here it is. This is the side of the book that has the pages. Remember, when you're putting a book on the shelf, if you put your hand on the spine before you put it back in, you'll always have the book on the shelf with the spine facing out. Why is it important to have the spine facing out? Because the title of the book is written on the spine, and it's one more way to make it easy for us to find the books that we're looking for. Thanks for all your help, guys, and happy shopping.